Great day, everyone. I am done with debt. What does this mean? Well, tell you one thing. I'm done being over leveraged. I promise you that much. I am done. And I really want everyone to understand that I do not provide legal advice in any way, but I give business concepts and I give my personal opinion. And I also have a network of multimillionaires and a couple of people worth even more than that. So this is also them sharing advice with me that I appreciate and I hope it adds value to your day and always learning, always growing. So let's get started. So I am done with debt. What does this mean? Well, let me make this very clear. I just had a really bad situation that thank God I had cash reserves in place to absorb, I would say about 85% of the blow, but I realized something. And I actually sought out advice because here's the thing. Don't ever stop growing. Don't ever stop learning because the moment you do is the moment you're exposed. And I talked to this gentleman who I respect as an investor. I asked him, I said, you know, like I just had this kind of thing happen to me. And, you know, I was just confused and all this. And he said, well, how much cash reserves did you have compared to your debt ratio? And he's like, we always have a minimum, me and my wife, 180,000. I'm like, you're on, she's, your wife's on board of that, having 180,000 that you never touch. And he goes, yes. Like that gives us two things. One, it shows cash to investors that, hey, we're ready to go just like you are. Two, it shows the bank that your statement is high so you can get approved for bigger and better things. Three, it's there in case things go south, kind of like what just happened to me. So I am done with carrying so much debt with very low cash reserves. I'm going to build up as much cash reserves as I can in 2024. Even though I'm taking on other investments and other opportunities, I realize that regardless, at least 50% of everything earned outside of living expenses needs to go away to build those cash reserves back to where they were. And I'm done with credit cards because 2.5% nine, Yeah, I think I heard in that email, 29.5% is the average right now in America. And 8.5, I believe, are the rates now. It's, it's a ridiculous market we're in. And it's probably going to continue to be this way for quite some time. But I'm not going to get political. There's plenty of other channels to do that. But I will borrow debt. If I borrow $10 million and it gives me a cash flow of $1.8 million, I will gladly do it. I'll do it. The best way to determine if it's good debt or bad debt is does it put money in my pocket or does it take money out? If you're running a service or if you've got a business that costs you more to run than you are making, or if you're breaking even, probably not worth doing. So you got to question yourself either, how do I improve the system or how do I raise my prices without taking off my customers? Or is this not worth pursuing anymore? Is that debt worth it? So that's my advice on this. I'm done with debt because I'm really going to be focusing on building cash reserves, and I highly suggest you do the same. Everyone, well, I hope that this gave you some value. Again, I'm done with bad debt, and I really want to encourage everyone to build on the cash reserves because after talking to someone wiser than me and has been doing this for 18 years, to hear him say that Tim and his wife got those reserves in place and they treat it like it doesn't exist, it opens up so many more opportunities for you. and. I really hope that you got some value from this video and I really hope it helps you in your journey, whether it's just not business or in investing related. I really hope that it just helps you understand that it's, it's bad if it takes money out of your pocket. We need more resources put money into our pockets. So if you got any value from this channel, please like and subscribe because why not? And I appreciate it and you have a great day.